Hi guys, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm Brazilian. If you don't know me, my name is Thaisi Barreto and I'm YouTuber and I'm here with my strong accent to talk with you about my culture and the difference about the British culture and the English culture. What means that, yeah, we have some videos here talking about what's the difference about British guy and Brazilian guy <laughs> and about other things like music, like, for example, what's the difference between be a single person on London and be a single person on Brazil? It's interesting, huh? So please give me a like, share this video with your friends because it will help me to make the YouTube give my video, share my video as a suggestion to other people. And that can make people understand better about the Brazilian culture, okay? And please subscribe here, okay? And press the little bell downstairs because you will receive notifications every time that I share a new video here, okay? Okay, so let's talk about five things that means be a single person in Brazil and five points for what I saw that means be a single person on London. I need to move to the other room because someone here is not helping me. That person is making a lot of bad noise sounds. Okay, so here we came back to continue our video, okay? So let's talk about what means being a single person in João Pessoa, Brazil, the city where I was born and was raised, and the difference that I saw with single people from London. Okay, so number one. Very common in Brazil, in my city, you see people with 30 years living with their parents. In London, it's very common you see people with 30 sharing apartment with a lot of strangers that they call of housemates, I think. Point number two. It's very, very common to see young people, I mean like, not young, single people with 30 on the gym on Trapezola. It's very common to see people on London on pubs with 30 years. Point number three. It's very common to see Brazilians with 30s that are single wasting a lot of money uh, to show to the other people that they have money, like expensive clothes, like expensive cars, like um, expensive gadgets, like, for example, cell phones. And in London, yeah, I saw a lot of people with stories that was like well-dressed, but I didn't feel that they care a lot to show to the others that they have money. So, I mean, like, it's very common because it's a, a big metropolis. You see people, like, using buses, using the tub. You will not see people here in João Pessoa using bus and, yeah, just bus. Actually, our public system transport is just with bus. We don't have tube here in João Pessoa because it's a small city. So, I mean, like, you will not see people using the public transport system if that person have money or want to show to the others that that person have money i have no idea why and i didn't see that i didn't think that people in london was caring a lot about show to the others that they were like well dressed for a status or that they have like a lot of gadgets for a status so Point number four, single people flirt all the time in Joe Pessoa, on the gym, on the work, on the streets, and of course, on parties. So yeah, you always will see single people flirting with strangers using the old book school. 
That means that we are not like the Londoners that use date apps. Actually, I already talked a lot about that here on the channel. So that was like the difference. In London, you will not see people in general, not just single people actually, flirting on the streets, I think, and talking with the strangers, you know, in my opinion, from my point of view. Point number five, it's very, very common to see um, single people on clubs, on bars, on pubs, on John Pessoa, kissing each other like like a couple that are completely in love and no, they're just strangers <laughs> that are like attracted from each other and in London, yeah, I didn't see a lot of strangers kissing each other on the parties you know, I mean like you can see, yeah, but it's not common actually, that kind of need make me talk about another point number six Dates. Yeah, I mean, like, single people in London go to dates to know each other. And in Brazil, mm, that's not very common. I mean, like, the common thing is actually you flirt with someone in the middle of a party and start to, to kiss that person without know that person. They kind of barely talk with each other, you know? So, I mean, like, that happens a lot, and then they can keep in touch and keep going out just to make up, to kiss each other, make up, not to have sex. Now I'm confused about the actually the correct uh, word in English, but it's very common they keep, like, kissing, you know, without talk. And after, like, a few times they do that a lot, they start actually to know each other. In London, what I saw, it was a lot of people talking a lot, trying to know each other a lot, before they actually give a kiss, you know? So yeah, that's the difference between be, see, uh, be a single person in Jopa Soa, Brazil, and be a single person in London, okay? England. So I hope that you liked this video, give me a like, share with your friends to understand more about the Brazilian culture, okay? Subscribe here and press the little bell because you will receive notifications every time I publish a new video, okay? And on the box of information, I will add to you my Instagram account if you want to talk with me. And also, I will share some cards here in some place of this video with suggestions of other videos, okay? So, see you soon, bye!